This museum is found across the river from the Houses of Parliament in the Church of St Mary at Lambeth. This haven of horticultural history sits unexpectedly amidst the high rises and heavy traffic of the Lambeth Palace Road. The story of how the museum came to be here is truly touching. The church was deconsecrated in 1972 and was about to be demolished when John and Rosemary Nicholson intervened. The Nicholsons traced the family tomb of the famous 17th century plant hunters, John Tredeskant and son, to the Church of St Mary's. The Nicholsons realised the importance of this site and they also knew that in order to save the churchyard, they would have to find it a new purpose. And so the idea of a museum dedicated to the history of gardening was born. The museum tells the story of gardening in Britain from Roman times and of the journeys of many famous plant hunters including Joseph Banks, George Forrest and of course the Tredescans. You can see a whole host of gardening related items from a Neolithic antler pick to a cast iron Victorian lawnmower to Gertrude Jekyll's desk. There's even a cucumber straightener on display. One curious exhibit is the vegetable lamb of Tartary. In the Middle Ages, they believed this strange plant grew sheep as its fruit. As you can see, the little furry creature with its legs and tail does bear more than a passing resemblance to a lamb. It is, in fact, the stem of a fern found in Central Asia called Chipotium baromets. The once neglected graveyard of the church has been turned into a 17th century style knot garden that is filled with plants that were growing in Britain at that time. It was designed by Lady Salisbury, who is renowned for recreating the knot garden of Hatfield House. The style of the garden would have been familiar to John Tredescant, the elder, who was a gardener at Hatfield. Five members of the Tredescant family are buried here in a magnificent tomb, which carries an epitaph written by Tredescant's friend, the writer John Aubrey. Local Lambeth legend states that if the tomb is danced around 12 times as Big Ben strikes midnight, a ghost appears. William Bly is also buried in this churchyard. The sea captain retired to Lambeth after the mutiny on the bounty. Once you have toured this delightful museum, treat yourself to something from the Garden Cafe that serves delicious homemade food, or browse in the shop which sells all sorts of gardening-related gifts. If your visit to the museum has inspired you to get gardening, they have a series of themed evenings and lectures to help you improve your skills. Plus, they have the occasional jazz night, a perfect way to relax after a hard day in the garden.